This video will give you detailed instructions on how to convert the new gas furnace platform from the standard upflow configuration to a horizontal left configuration with a right vent. In other words, your supply air will be coming out of the left end of the furnace and your venting will be coming out of the right end of the furnace once it's installed in a horizontal position. First step in this process will be to remove the uh, transition piece here as well as the elbow. So we'll dis uh, disconnect the tubing from the collector box and from the inducer coupling. And then we will remove the elbow and the transition. The easiest way to remove this transition, this elbow and transition, is to, take lo uh, is to loosen all four of these screws on the hose clamps. Okay, our next step will be to remove the condensate trap. Simply pull straight up on the condensate trap to remove that. At this point, we're going to want we're going to want to remove the vent hose from the trap, as well as we'll just take all the hoses off of it so we can make it easier to convert here in a few minutes. Okay, the next step is to take the two and five eighths inch plug that is in the RXGY-CK kit and install that in the top of the furnace on the left hand side. We'll next remove the plug in the blower shelf and discard that. Then we will go to the other side and take the plug out of the blower shelf on the right hand side of the cabinet and we'll install that in the top right hand side of the jacket. The next step is to move the plug from the uh, collector box on the top left hand side of the corner to the place where the condensate trap was previously installed. So we'll take the plug from here and move it to here. The next step is to take hose G which comes in the RXGY-ZK kit, that's a zero clearance for uh, horizontal left with right vent. So we'll take that hose and you'll see that it has a uh, embossed trap with an arrow pointed up so that means the trap is connected to this end. So this end goes on the collector box. We use soapy water is what we recommend to get a, an easy uh, connection. And once you have that connected just leave that there until you go to the next step. Okay, previously I removed the inducer coupling when I took the elbow off. So I'm going to go, but go ahead and reinstall that at this time. It's very important that you look at the airflow indicator on here. It has an arrow pointing out, so that means that air, uh, the airflow needs to be going uh, the direction of the, of the arrow, so the airflow will be going towards the outside of the cabinet. So I'll install that back where it's supposed to be. Now, you get a vinyl cap also in the RXGY-CK kit. We'll install that on the inducer coupling. So both of the, of the fittings on the inducer coupling are covered with vinyl caps. Okay, the next step is to assemble the elbow back into place. So uh, we will rotate that actually 180 degrees from what it was in the upflow position. So previously it was in the furnace like this. It's going to go in the furnace like this now. We need to 
uh, loosen off these uh, hose clamps enough that we can rotate them so that we'll be able to uh, get to them and tighten them when we need to later. Okay, so I've got the hose clamps loosened uh, and pulled around here where we'll be able to access them with our uh, 5 16 hex head bit in a, here in a few minutes. So we want to go ahead and put the elbow onto the coupling as such and install this back into the part. At this point you can tighten up this the one on the inside closest to the inducer, kind of keep that in place. We'll leave the, the others loose at this point so that when we get ready to attach the, the vent piping, we can move this around freely until we get that attached. The next step in the instructions tells us to remove the knockouts that's in the bottom plate of the furnace, here and here. I have already knocked those out, but you will need a flathead screwdriver and a hammer to perform this procedure. On the other side of the jacket down here where we're going to install the condensate later, you need to come over here and there are three dimples in the jacket. I've pre-drilled these with an eighth inch drill bit. So you'll need an eighth inch drill bit to, to pre-drill these three holes for the installation of the trap. The next step is to install the intake coupling here and the air diffuser here. Install this in the right side of the furnace cabinet. Okay, and once you have that snug down, you'll take the air diffuser here and you'll push it through until it seats itself right there. So the air diffuser and the intake coupling are installed at this point. Okay the next step in this is going to be to uh, install the PVC pipes that's in the RXGY-ZK kit. This is the air intake pipe. It's the short straight piece of PVC pipe that comes with the RXGY-ZK kit. We will install that through the bottom of the furnace, through this hole, run it straight up into the coupling, and it's installed. Now, uh, for demonstration purposes, I did not put PVC glue on this, but you will need to use PVC glue to glue this joint together. Now, before you can install the other pipe on the other side, you have to move the junction box and the, and the cutoff switch. So uh, make sure you follow the electrical instructions in the installation instructions. Pop this switch out, move it to the other side. Pop this plug out over here. Now, once you've got that installed, you'll take the plug that you took out of that side of the cabinet and you'll install that over here where this junction block was installed previously. Now we're ready to move to the next step which is to put the, uh, the vent pipe in coming in from this side. This vent pipe is the big long piece with a, a slight bend at the end of it. So we'll put that in, there's a trick to this, you need to go in from the inside of the cabinet with the bend kind of facing down all down through here. Uh, one other thing is, is there's two pilot holes in the in the cabinet. I uh, pre-drilled these but you need to use an eighth of an inch drill bit to drill these two holes out prior to this step. That way you can uh, your screws will go in much easier. 
put that in. Connect it over here into your elbow. Tighten these screws down. If you can see this, there you go. Make sure you tighten the screws down on the elbow to the vent pipe and add your two screws here and one, one screw here and one screw here to tighten it down. Okay, to save time on the video, I went ahead and put these screws in, one here and one up here, to secure that to the blower shelf. And I also put the fittings in on the on the, the brackets on the on the top here or on the bottom to secure these. These hoses are not uh, these do not have dimples in the jacket, so you simply need to put these fittings onto the top of the jacket. Mark your hose, take an eighth of an inch drill bit, and pre-drill hose and screw those down for each side. Okay, for the next step, we're going to go ahead and configure our drain trap, our condensate trap. Uh, first thing we need to do is pull this plug off and, and discard it. There's a the metal bracket that was holding it in place. We'll pull that off as well and discard that. You'll take the plug that came in your RXGY-CK kit and you'll install it in the back of the trap as such. Next we'll take the gasketing that came with the with the kit as well. We'll install that on the top of the cabinet and then we will uh, install the trap to the jacket. can remove this hose, uh, the installer will connect directly to the trap. Okay, now we're going to connect the hoses from the trap to the furnace to make sure that everything drains properly. When you got your furnace, it came with a hose D. You can see on here, hose D is clearly marked with a couple different lines, line one and line two. So uh, follow the instructions for this procedure. We need to cut hose D at line one. So right here, I've already pre-cut this hose. So I've, I've got a short hose D that was cut at, at line one and we'll install that uh, from the condensate trap to the elbow. Now, before you do this, you need to make sure you remove this plug from the elbow. So let's remove that plug, discard that, use some soapy water, and install the hose D onto the elbow. We also installed this hose previously, so we'll go ahead and install that onto the trap as well. Your kit comes with several inches, uh, 15 to uh, 12 to 15, 18 inches of, of quarter inch tubing. Uh, for this one, you're going to need to cut it to about 12, 12 and a half inches. Uh, so we'll go ahead and install that. This is a little bit longer because I haven't cut it yet, but you can you can see what you're supposed to do. You install it there, run it up to the collector box and install that. Make sure you don't have any kinks so that the water flows freely and you have trouble free operation. And that concludes this portion of the 
furnace set up for horizontal left with a right vent.